So we have some big changes coming in the next, say, three years. You're going to see some really big transitions. I'm going to talk about what that is. I'm going to talk about the great deprogramming. Yes, the great deprogramming. I just did a video about it. I see it happening. I realized, oh my gosh, people are deprogramming. Are you? We're going to talk about the signs of deprogramming. And if you're still in it, maybe you want to recognize it because you can shift into something really amazing that's happening right now. Are you part of the great deprogramming? Let's find out. to Landria on God YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Yes, I'm going to shamelessly promote my book because I actually talk about this in here. What's happening? We're in past the tipping point. The big events that have been going on, well, they have been pushing us into transitions. We're either having to come together as community or we're going to separate. And that is a choice. It's not something everyone's going to do because we are allowed to experience our own individual energy field, uh, let's just say experiences, uh, adventures, information gatherers. And so if we were all clones and did the same thing, why bother coming here? We get to experience what the one can be in every possible form. That's why you're going to some, see people do some horrific things. They're going to make that choice. They interact with us. They're our best teachers because then we get to make a choice based on that. How are we going to react? Are we going to go mutually into a negative space or are we going to take a higher pathway? This is all planned out. It is all beautifully orchestrated. There's no chaos or mistakes in the multiverse. We're going to talk about the great deprogramming. I have noticed some things happening with people who are very rigid in their thinking, really nice people too, who are all of a sudden thinking a little bit differently or a little bit more open to things they would have never considered. And I want to talk to you today about this. And this might be a little disturbing for some of you because when you're stuck in a way of thinking, that's programming. When you are open to absolutely everything, that's a deprogramming. In other words, you realize all things are possible and every reality is true. So if you are programmed, you're going to believe that there is a certain way things are. When that's absolutely impossible because the universe, the multiverse, is everything. It contains everything. So the universe, and if you guys have been in my free uh, videos, I actually have two free master classes and I talk about this. The universes are containers for um, illusions to play out, even including angels and everybody else. Nobody, nobody passes over to the other side and remains as that figure. That's an energy field that you can access, but they are out there into everything, off on other things. Your, your dad, uh, you know, whoever, some saint or whatever, doesn't go over and they're the saint or your dad, your dad forever over there. It doesn't work that way because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So uh, your dad or you was something before that. So who's over on the other side? We're going to talk a whole video about that. You're going to love it. We're going to deprogram and realize, wait a minute, that is just one form of the energy field that presented itself as my dad. All right, so deprogramming. I'm going to start with Dolores Cannon. I'm actually a quantum healing hypnosis technique hypnotist trained by Dolores Cannon. We do past life regressions. She talked about the new earth. And so they didn't know what it was. She never really knew what it meant. Is there an actual physical earth? The deprogramming is we realize we're thinking like humans in a material world and that there's no other physical planet. You know, there it can be we can create that we can create anything, but we're always thinking aliens have to come and take us from this planet to over we can't possibly imagine that this is just an illusion. 
It is, it, it's only real because we have a focus on it. All right, so we're going to deprogram and realize, wait a second, you know, it doesn't have to be another planet or aliens are their illusion too. They are illusion like we are. So when I say illusion, it's real. It's a construct. However, we're the energy field that's playing out the illusion. And so everything on here is. And so when you deprogram, you realize there's no one thing, way, uh, right, wrong. You, you blow it all out. Now, some of you are advanced and you realize there are no labels, there are no names. Uh, you know, when you go to the other side and you're really advanced, nobody has a name. You don't need a name. You're, you're an energy field. You don't refer to each other as a name because a name is separatism and individualism. And so when we go over there, we realize we're just one mind. How can you separate me from you? Here we do that. And so when you deprogram, you start to see that. And so you stop seeing the other as a problem. You stop seeing the other as uh, wrong. You stop judging because you realize that's another uh, expression of the energy field just like you are. And you stop seeing yourself as just a person. And you realize, I am the expression of everything. So I, I can't just be one person who's right or wrong because there are millions of rights and wrongs out there. And that's what causes our conflict. So the more we're in conflict and separation, the lower frequency we're in, all right? And so when we become one mind, we go up into that penthouse and the view is amazing and we realize that we are all one working together. And even if we have individual illusions we're playing out, we work together beautifully as a, the puzzle pieces come together. All right. So instead of opposing one another, we find that uh, my individual illusion allows me to play something out that complements you, or we find a solution for your pain, or we see this horrific thing going on. We realize it's coming from fear and pain. It isn't just naturally an evil entity or person or whatever it is. It came from something. Something happened prior to that, that made choices to go into that low frequency. And the only way that we can come back together as the whole is to shine light on it. So we have to go into that one, that unity. All right, so signs of deprogram, law of attraction. So the new earth is not a actual planet. The new earth is a state of frequency and it's happening right now. Dolores Cannon didn't know how to define that. She never tried to answer that question. She just threw some ideas out there. And now the deprogramming says, stop thinking like a material uh, uh, person or thing or a human being and realize everything's just a frequency. And so now we open ourselves up beyond these physical bodies. So the new earth, just a frequency, a way of life, and it's endless probabilities that you get to choose within your own energy field that interacts with everything else. You don't get away of, of interacting uh, with others. That's the whole point. You, we are one, so you, can't, you don't get away with that. You, you can't separate yourself from anybody. Law of attraction, deprogramming, you're going to realize there's no law and you don't attract anything. So the old, the deprogramming says that, I'm this, and I want this, and I'm going to bring it to me, even though I'm down here, and it's up here. So then you throw all these old sayings and these old thoughts and theories and things, and you realize, wait a second, I am that, and all I have to do is tune in to the frequency of that. So I can't be the person down here in fear or needy or what, and I will, I'm going to bring this to me and then it'll make me happy. That's old law of attraction thinking, which, by the way, was pretty advanced because they realized, you know, they were catching on to quantum physics, and now they realized nothing was being attracted at all. They either believed it or they didn't, they either tuned in and, and resided on that floor, or they were still in the basement wishing it would come down, and that's why law of attraction doesn't work because you can't attract anything, all right? It seems to attract. It's attracted to me. It, it, if it's attracted to you and you're on a different frequency, it's not the thing that you want to attract anymore, right? It's something different. If I want the penthouse and want to track the penthouse down to me in the basement, it's not the penthouse anymore. You have to go up to the penthouse and stop being the basement. That's all it is. It's so simple. However, 
they you have to go through the deprogramming to get up to the penthouse because if I'm still thinking fear or limitations and I'm down here, I can't get on that elevator and, and raise my frequency to, to hit that floor. So we have to break through the programming and say, this is made up and I'm believing it. I'm believing that I'm not good enough or that this is impossible or that I don't hold this power or that uh, I am a God, a God, and I hold the power to manifest all things within this illusion that I decided to play out. So it's not like, I, you know, I want to be a Kardashian. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would want to do that anyways, but teach his own. You have to go into the state of mind and being that I am still a dense being and I have to play this out. But within this is the power of the universe that can heal itself. You know, this dis-ease is what causes issues. Now, why do children get sick? Because we're passing along this dis-ease is actually in our DNA and actually tests on animals, which by the way, that's going to start ending too. It already is. Uh, Animals that had certain fears, let's say related to smells or noise or whatever, when they had kids and they never didn't do anything to the kids, the little baby mice, they had the same fears. So if the smell came in the room, even though they didn't do anything to them negative, they had the same fears. It's passed on. So these children are getting you know, what we are passing on through our DNA, it's an energy field. And so when you open yourself up to that, you realize it's not the physical, the in the moment stuff happening all the time. It is connected to everything. So everything passed along can end. It can end. We, it's just a decision you make. Everything's a choice. You're going to stop taking sides. Deprogramming is nothing's ever wrong. How can it be? Because the one is doing it all. How am I able to say it's wrong if the one creates, if everything's one thing and it creates everything, it's creating the thing that I think is wrong. So me as the, in, what I think is the individual, what's that? It's a limitation and a programming to say that that holds no purpose. That isn't a, a teacher. That's whatever. Somebody said um, in, in the comments, David Ike's your best teacher. I said, I, he's not my teacher. I, I've never watched the man. So if you're exposing yourself to something, then you are, if you're disrupted by that, and you're, you're, you're going into it. I'm going into this. I'm going to go into the argument. I'm going to watch the conspiracy. I'm going to watch the negativity. And say, well, this might make sense. You're programming yourself into negativity. And so who, who's responsible for that? They aren't. You are because you're 100% in control of your feelings, what you expose yourself to, and deprogramming means I'm not gonna do it anymore. Now my friend who I told you was very uncomfortable with me feeding the homeless man, wanted to step back, and his, in his head, he was programmed to think that homeless people are drugged out, you know, uh, lower, less than, dangerous, we can't relate to them. And he saw something different go on, and I saw his deprogramming start to take place. I sat and talked to him about the one. I called it Source. Now, this is a, not a highly religious person, but, you know, he grew up with religion. Was very open to that. And he didn't try to argue with me, and I said, wow, this is pretty cool. He was open up, opening up to the deprogramming that maybe what he was told isn't really true that all things are true, and that it's true if I want to believe it. But do I want to confine myself? Do I want to program myself to believe that this is how it is and everybody else is wrong, right? So if we believe something is right or wrong, you're taking a sides, you're still programmed. You're still programmed. Yes, there are higher frequencies and lower frequencies. There, there's kindness and then there's nasty stuff. Absolutely, it exists. But it is all divinely exploration of the one source, and that's all it is. So if you can step back and experience it and make a higher choice, you just make a higher choice. You don't have to judge that. All right? You don't have to approve of it either. But you just make a higher choice, and you stop saying things are wrong, and you stop arguing and going in conflict and saying, you know, this is how things are, and you go into deprogramming, and all of a sudden stuff is going to open up to you that will blow your mind. Now, you guys who are in my free 
uh, video series. I just launched a new uh, master class and I talk about what the universe is. I talk about what we are in the universe and how you use that power. And how when you go into this, you realize it's a container for the illusions. That's what it is because you, we aren't, universes is just another form, another form of what is so massively incomprehensible to us. Incomprehensible. All right? So every planet you've ever been on, any form you've ever been in, everything you've experienced is part of the energy field that you've, you as the information gatherer got to accumulate to contribute to the whole of what it can be. What's it like to be murdered? What's it like to be the murderer? It's information, not to be judged, but we experience the density of the opposite of what our, our original form is. So we're taking on this heavy, heavy vibration. Does this make sense? So now what do you think? Are you deprogramming? Are you thinking differently? My friends are thinking differently. They're saying, you know what? I'm tired of hanging on to this right, wrong, and restrictions. Uh, there's another human being on the street. I don't know that story, but I know that that is a perfect energy field, just like I am. And that when we leave those facades, that that light form is equal to everything. It's not some drunk or drug addict or whatever you think is wrong about them. That's your energy field going into the lowest frequency, and that's okay too. But if you want to deprogram, you can go into the new earth in this lifetime. And so the next few years, the deprogramming is taking the frequency of the planet up and up and up, and it's going to affect everybody. I'm going to talk in the next video about why is everybody exhausted. If I hear this one more time, are you exhausted? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about that next because there's a darn good reason, and you don't have to be exhausted, by the way. That's a choice, too. All right, so the great deprogramming. People are going to think things so differently that you never believed in a million years that they would let go of their constraints and limitations, right and wrong. You're going to see people say, I don't know. The most powerful thing you can say, I don't know. <laughs> and we don't as humans, we can't. And that's what in this book, the last chapter, I actually call it the knowing. The knowing by the book. You'll find out what the knowing is. And when you go into the knowing, whew, this huge energy field is going to open up and you'll realize, oh my gosh, I don't have a program running anymore. I'm just experiencing something. What am I going to do with it? Anything you want. I hope you'll subscribe and share my videos. You guys, these are uh, internet training free videos up here. Um, am I pointing in the right direction? Oh my gosh. Anyways, my free videos come on over. I have a brand spanking new email list and new trainings. All kinds of cool stuff for you. I want to help you go into that space where you get to make whatever choice you want because you know you can, not because somebody told you that it's this way or that way. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. You are part of the universal energy field that is all things. And you and I are that thing together, not separate. But as a human, go express yourself. It's fun. Let's have fun with this. There's never anything to fear, my friend. Namaste.